Hey guys, this is episode two of season two of playing around with Naughty Bug Deluxe. Here I have a Corbin and a Yale. This is a Yale Y110 slash 40. The shackle is cut, but um, still pickable. This is a half Corbin. Honestly, I haven't had much luck with Corbin at all, so can't say I'm a fan. <laughs> but maybe I will be today. So let's just uh, jump right into the Corbin and take the uh, Yale after this one. I will give five minutes to each of the locks. So that fits perfectly with six minutes on the timer, or the time of the video. So let's see, not that one. And then I guess this one. Actually, let's do counterclockwise this time. Maybe this one. Yeah, that seems fine. This is a five pin uh, Corbin. Hopefully we can get it open or at least get some new feedback that can help me to open it next time. So, also if I sound a little bit weird, it uh, is because I have a piece of paper in my nose. My nose just started bleeding it for some weird reason. Uh, just did. Right after I stopped the uh, camera last time for the first episode of this second season of the series, right as I hit the uh, stop button, I, it just started to run. I don't know what happened, but uh, that will not stop me or slow me down. Never have, never will. This far, I get nothing from this lock. Come on, give me something I haven't had before. I wonder what pins are inside of this. Oh, okay. It grips a little bit. Um, I think this top of the keyway is too thin. I think, I mean, yeah. Where is the others? Come on, stop hanging on there. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll try. I do like this though. To keep me from falling into the bottom of the keyway. Actually, the time is up in 10 seconds, but uh, maybe we can still get some sort of feedback we haven't had in these few seconds. Okay, that was a click. 
and time is up. Just jump over the pins here quickly. That was either three or four pins. I heard falling. So something happened, but uh, not enough. Let's try the Yale. And see if we have any luck on that. Um, try this first. Nope. Try this one. Maybe a little bit too wide. We go with that. These usually have spools in them. Come on. There we go. I actually like picking these uh, Yale 40 millimeters. Uh, I have picked a couple of them. Um, I also have one in my collection and one in my training bucket. I like to have a bunch of different locks, different qualities, different brands in my training bucket to keep my skills at least somewhat on. So I don't fall all the way to the ground if I at some point don't pick for a while. Come on, there we go. Okay, I think that is tension of falling to the bottom. Try this one. Oh, that's actually not a good focus. Sorry about that. That's better. This is maybe a little bit too thin of a top of the keyway. So it bends a little bit easier than I'd like it to, but it should work. Do you think I still need that one though? To keep me from falling into the bottom of the keyway. And that's the worst part about top of the keyway. to do that again. There was pin one. These Yales usually have spools in them, and when you first get to the false set, they're usually pretty easy, but that's the problem. I don't get that false set. I 
I don't have one of these with a key in my collection actually. And no local store sell these anymore. They only say, uh, sell uh, Ruko, Yesave, and some of them have those, but not so many of them sell those. It's mainly Yesave and Ruko. So. And time is up. I heard three pins drop. So not much new on these two. But I will be back again tomorrow with the next video of another two locks. Thanks for watching. Remember, skill always beats luck and have a great day.